George Gershwin was born on September 26, 1898 in Brooklyn, New York. His life would have never been the same after his family bought a secondhand piano for his older brother Ira. George started playing piano at the age of 11, and he was a natural. He was able to combine different distinct genres together to make new songs, and he was creative and wasn't afraid to try new things. At the age of 15, Gershwin left high school and became a song plugger, which is someone who plays at restaurants, nightclubs, or stores to lure customers in. Three years later in 1916, he published his first song, When You Want Em, You Can't Get Em, When You Have Em, You Don't Want Em. But after creating Swanee in 1919 was when he started to receive his first real fame. When making Swanee, Gershwin claims that it only took him 10 minutes to write the song while riding a bus in Manhattan. On February 12, 1924, Gershwin performed Rhapsody in Blue for the first time ever at the Aeolian Hall in New York City. After performing this extravagant composition, he created a brand new genre of music by combining classical music from Western Europe with the elements of the new American jazz of the 1920s. This piece was very experimental because no one has ever attempted to create such a piece so bizarre and exotic in the history of American music. But before George started working on Rhapsody in Blue, Ira Gershwin, his brother, was reading a report in the New York Tribune saying that George was performing in just five weeks at the world premiere in February. Completely forgetting about performing at the concert, George freaked out and rushed to piece Rhapsody in Blue together as best as he could to meet the deadline. He even left his own piano solo to be improvised. But as frantic and panic-driven he was, at the end, he made one of his best-known works. George's brother, Ira, influenced George's musical career. Together, Ira and George positively influenced musical theater and created very notable songs that are still valued today. Ira Gershwin was an exceptional lyricist, and together they were a great team by George writing the music for the songs and Ira writing the words. Their work has been included in Broadway shows, films, and on television. Some pieces are Someone to Watch Over Me, Strike Up the Band, and Oh Lady Be Good. I Got Rhythm is a piece composed by George and lyrics made by Ira, and it became one of the most catchiest songs in American history. It was published in 1930, and surprisingly, they wrote this song while visiting Palm Beach, Florida. In addition to Rhapsody in Blue, the opera Porgy and Bess was one of George's most ambitious compositions. He got inspiration for the piece while reading a book called Porgy, which depicted the life of Porgy, who is a character that lived in Charleston, South Carolina, in the Black Tenements. While reading this book, he had a brilliant idea to bring the book to life with music. He took it upon himself to research and study African Americans and their culture. Summertime is one of the most recognizable songs from Porgy and Bess, and it is played in the first act of the opera. George was unaware how influential and long-lasting his work would be, because sadly, on July 11, 1937, at the age of 38, he died of a brain tumor. To this day, his songs are considered to be one of the most important American musical works. Even though he died, his legacy still lives on to this day. George and Ira became one of the most highly regarded musical talents of their time. They will always be remembered in the musical theater and in American music. George Gershwin is an example of a boy with having a natural talent, creativity, and great determination. He never gave up on his dreams and never knew how great of an impact he would have on jazz and other future genres of music to come. As a tribute to George's death, Ira donated all of his materials to the Library of Congress so that their music could be part of American history forever. Mm -hmm.